And so now to tell us a little bit more about sort of human conversions and talk about the work, I'd like to bring out uh, Beth Minet, the director of the GVU Center from Georgia Tech. All right, let's welcome Beth. Now, Beth. Welcome to IDF. Yeah, delighted you're here. All right. Should we? Uh, yeah. Why don't we move down a little down here? Get a little bit closer. All right. All right. So um, you know we can you know see from the video that uh, your your GVU center is really attacking these you know these problems of uh, uh, of the social nature of, of television. Can you give us a, you know a, a better feeling for that? A bit more of the picture. So what we do at Georgia Tech is that we create multidisciplinary teams that combine expertise in computer science and engineering with uh, expertise in media studies, art, and design in the social sciences. Together, these teams enable a human-centered approach to innovative technologies. Well, OK, but it sounds like you've got a lot of academics working on this. How do you keep it real? How do you keep it relevant? Uh, of course, the way we keep it real is that we partner with companies such as Turner Broadcasting, Motorola, Steelcase, and of course, Intel, to understand how people are active participants in social media experiences such as television. So go back 20 years, people sat in their living rooms watching TV, and then they went to work and talked about it the next day. They wrote Star Trek novels, they attended conventions, they played Jeopardy the board game, they uh, subscribed to TV Guide. What we want to do in our research is to understand how these social experiences around media, around television, are transformed in the digital age. So what we're doing at GVU with our industrial partners is to design new social experiences around media. They may start in the living room, perhaps with some cool augmented reality technologies, but they'll move to online discussions on the web, and then maybe journey into a fantastic adventure in a virtual world, and then show up in a casual handheld game on your iPhone. Together, across these technologies, people experience convergence. That's great. Well, one of the things what I wanted to ask you about is you have a project that I think is, is really quite fascinating, is the Moses Project. So we talk about social TV and the ability of connecting people you know, via their televisions or via their devices, but with the Moses Project, you actually did something much bigger and I think uh, quite important, where you actually connected a whole country. Yeah, I'm glad you asked me about the Moses Project, because it's a very daunting effort. Uh, so in the country of Liberia, Moses kiosk travel from town to town. And people can come to the kiosk and tell their stories of the war. And they can also watch the stories from their neighbors, including people that fought on the opposing side of that brutal civil war. As the process unfolds, the nation is reconnected. People are pulled back together with a sense of re reconciliation. It's a very, very powerful product of social media. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, Beth, thank you so much for coming out. We really appreciate it. Enjoyed we it. We look thank forward you. to your work in the future. All right, Beth. Thank you, Justin. Why did you can? Appreciate it.